Okay, this is lab seven. In this lab, we will do three things. First, we will create a GPO named DSET and set it to disable display shutdown event tracker. The second thing we'll do, we will create a GPO named clear name one and set it to enable interactive logon do not display last username. And then we will check to see that these are working. The display shutdown event tracker, we will go to our menu, shutdown. This is our shutdown tracker. This we will disable. I'll cancel for now. Log on, we will switch users. And as you can see, I see usernames. We will display, we will disable this. Okay, first we will create our first GPO. Go start, administrator tools, go to group policy management. We will expand the forest. We will expand the domain. We will select domain 01. We will right click. We want to create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Select this. We will name it DSET. Select OK. Then we will expand this again. We will select our GPO. We will right click it. We will click edit. OK. We have to find the display shutdown event tractor node. So we will go under computer figuration. Under administrative templates. And we will go down to system and expand it. Now we need to scroll all the way down. We need to select it in the right pane. We need to scroll down and we will select our display shutdown event tracker. We will right click. We will go to the properties. Okay, we will double click. As you can see, it's not configured. We want to select Disabled, click Apply, click OK. We'll go ahead and create our other GPO. We will select Domain on one. We will right click. We will create a GPO. We will name this Clear Name 1. We will select OK. We will select clear name, select clear name, right click, click edit, the computer for configuration, go to policies, go to window settings, go to security settings, go to local policy, select security options. Now we will scroll down and right until we see Interactive logon, do not display last username. Double click it. To find this policy setting, we want to select enable. Click apply, click OK, and close all the windows. Now we will test this to see if our policies are in. First, we need to switch users. First, we will check to make sure our shutdown event tracker is disabled. So we will click shutdown. And as you can see, it doesn't ask me why. It just tells me that other users are on the computer. So we will click no. And as you see, when I logged off, the box came up. But the log on screen came up and the box is empty. It does not show me the last person I log in. So we successfully disabled the shutdown event tracker and we enabled the do not display last username setting. This ends lab seven.